CBD oils, candy, making it, packaging it, all in a day's work at Hempful Farms in Phoenix for Chris Martin and his wife Andy. And then this is production, where we do dog treats, we do all the packaging. But maybe not many would have gone back to a business that almost cost them everything. Uh, on my record right now, I have 15 total felony convictions from 1996 to now, and uh, it is all pot related. Martin is a tough looking dude, tatted up and a biker, but with a soft side. He was a medical marijuana trailblazer about a decade ago. Using THC to treat his own Crohn's disease, he started making Zonka bars, a big name in the marijuana edible game. He started selling the infused candy to compassion clubs, people looking for medical relief with THC, but who didn't want to smoke. The problem? He wasn't partnered with a licensed dispensary. The police came knocking. It was all police. It was uh, four jurisdictions and guns held at my kids' faces for a plant that is supposed to save my life. His status as an ex-con meant he could have faced life in prison. The Edibles entrepreneur says he was caught up in trumped up charges stemming from the war on drugs. The father of five fought the charges and ended up serving two and a half years in prison. But I make it mandatory that we write these people. Um, I don't want them to feel lost or forgotten. Meeting other people who had their lives totally upended by marijuana charges. He changed his business model to focus on CBD oils and not full-scale medical marijuana. But despite the turnaround, the injustice for him remains. I've been here 46 years on this planet and I've never been able to vote. I've never been a citizen in my own country. That, that's just an awkward feeling. While potentially hundreds of thousands in Arizona can get marijuana charges tossed thanks to Prop 207, Martin is not one of them. For Chris Martin, true freedom and forgiveness starts at the top. His charges do not qualify for expungement in Arizona, so even though they've started taking applications for them, it doesn't matter for him. He needs to ask for a formal pardon. My name is Weldon Angelo. Martin's story and stories like his strike a chord with Weldon Angelos. Angelos is a Utah-based music producer and cannabis entrepreneur himself but he faced 55 years in prison back in 2004. He had sold about $350 worth of pot to an undercover agent, and he had a concealed weapon on him. His harsh sentence attracted a coalition of Democrats and Republicans looking for reform. Former President Barack Obama commuted his sentence, he was released in 2016, and eventually he got a full pardon from former President Donald Trump. He now helps people like him seek pardons from their state governors, and a laundry list of some of the biggest names in hip-hop joined him seeking reform at the federal level where marijuana is still a crime. What really gets me is that today, these corporations and, and entrepreneurs are violating federal law but becoming millionaires. Where other people, you know, like Chris, like myself, uh, you know, like Luke Scarmazzo, are going to prison for it and becoming felons for doing the same thing, both violating the same federal statute. The shift in thinking about weed from prison-worthy, life-ruining drug to business enterprise has helped change the conversation about justice. Martin hopes he gets his version of it soon, and his story changes the game. I wanted to show people that mistakes can be made, and we can recover from that. We can grow and be better. Matt Galka, Fox 10 News.